the painful things in our life. How do you get rid of them? Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and you can find me at Metaphysical Ministry International. A metaphysical ministry addresses the fact that what we see with our five senses and experience is just actually less than 1% of this greater reality that's going on. So when you discover how to tune into the universe and your guides and your angels, you start to be part of that bigger world. And maybe more important, is you have an understanding of how you're creating your reality so you can participate consciously. It's called being awake. So what was I talking about with blessing the painful things in your life? Nothing happens accidentally to you or anybody else. Everything that happens serves to move you to a higher and better place on your journey through life. And do you ever make a difference when you're comfortable and happy and everything's just joyful and peaceful? Probably not. However, when you are met with a crisis, a problem, a relationship issue, whatever it is, and it's painful, and you must take action immediately, you do. You take action. And that action leads you to growth. Now, when you take the action, you can look back and see, wow, my life really improved because that horribly awful, nasty thing happened. But my life is better now, so maybe it wasn't quite as horrible because I got something really rich out of it. Well, look for the gift, but then you got to take it a step further. You want it out of your life forever. So bless it. You see, a lot of people, when something awful happens in their lives, they focus on it. And they condemn it, and they complain about it, and they spend the whole rest of their life in misery. And what's that doing? Well, what you focus on expands. you. So you're condemning yourself to a painful journey through life when you're trying to get rid of something. It's getting bigger. On the other hand, if you can see the value and you can bless it and recognize it's really love, it changes the whole energy of the situation. It changes your energy. And in fact, you release it. You release the pain. You live with the gift of the situation. And you know the best part? That nasty feeling, that nasty kind of event, it's gone. It's gone forever. It's not going to come back again under any kind of disguise. It will not reoccur. So this week I want you to go down there and tell us what it is that you were able to finally release and how it freed you up and changed your life dramatically. But let me tell you a personal event that happened for me. I have uh, an acid reflux condition that comes from nerve damage. And in the winter when the heat comes on, it gets so bad. And drinking water, drinking any liquid, is excruciatingly painful because the acid intensifies. And I'm talking about well, imagine how it feels to have horrible burning that sometimes goes up in my sinuses. I was not functioning real well, as you might imagine. And then I decided to go on with my life and to bless the awareness it gave me. It went away. Now, I still have the paralysis that caused it to happen, but I'm not having all that pain and I can drink water without hurting, yay! 
So you go ahead and whatever's been bugging you and hurting you and making you so upset or depressed, bless it. Kind of like a friend once said to me, love it alone. I wish you a week of many, many blessings. And remember, when you share a happy share, something that makes you feel really, really good, that adds to your blessings, and the universe sees how grateful you are and gives you way more blessings for which to be thankful. See you next week. This is Reverend Allie Beerman.